So the Corex level design results have been announced and yes guys we are going to have a look at the winning levels. Let's get into it. This level is a single player level. This level is called The Wall and was sent in by Kyle. What I like about this level is the design. We've not yet seen a Corex level with a big Donald Trump wall separating you from Mexico, I mean the enemy base. So this should add a bit of variation on how to play this level. Now what I also like about this map is there's five different pathways for you to get to the enemy or for the enemy to get to you. The way you can play this is probably by building walls along certain paths that you don't want the enemy to come down because then the enemy will be forced to turn back and take a different path. This will then allow you to concentrate your fire on one area and kill more of the enemy in a short space of time. But what I've also noticed is as well as a resource pool here, we also have one up here and up here. Well I'm hoping they're resource pools. So if you really wanted to, you could go up, catch one and then block the enemy off on the other side to make sure that they don't come and attack these resource pools. However, there isn't one in the middle level, so they will come surging up here, which is probably the main one to block off or at least defend. If you are capturing these resource pools, then the enemy will be coming down through these two pathways by the side. What I'm also wondering about is how planes will work in this map. I noticed there's two blocks instead of one for these windows in Donald Trump's wall. And this is probably so the planes can get through and destroy your base before you've even realised that the planes are coming. Because that's what happens in Corex. What I also like about this map is the enemy comes straight at you first. So you will be spending valuable resources either blocking off or defending the path that leads straight to your base. And this may delay the time to get to either one of these two resource pools. This I think will add a lot of excitement to this level. I am wondering how nukes will work in this level because they will have to go all the way over the wall. So you will have to use your smooth rotate to get round the wall fast enough to have a look to see if you've actually hit the enemy base. The second single player level is called Sprawl and was built by none other than Kyle. Again, this guy is on a roll. With this level, you're really going to have to focus on where the enemy is compared to where your workers are, compared to where your troops are, compared to where your towers are. This level is literally amazing. No? The four towers here are going to block your view of where the enemy is and also where your workers are. Because this is where your base is going, right here. So you've always got your starting energy resource pool. Can you put artillery and lasers on these towers? If you build near them, then surely you'll be able to claim them, right? In most Corix maps, you have a few ramps, but nowhere near as many as these. The, the weird architecture and cataclysmic sort of way it's been built is definitely why I think this level has been selected as a winner. The enemy is at the back here, so it isn't going to be too hard to find, but you're going to have to control where the enemy goes. Like the last map, there are five paths into your base. What is it with this guy, Kyle, and the number five? Must be a habit. So you are going to have to control where the enemy comes in and which way they do come in. It is just whether these ramps here and around here do actually connect up to the enemy base or whether they can only come in through one pathway or two pathways. I can't wait to see what this map will look like when it's finally in the game. The third level that has made it into the single player competition winning results is Joel's Stronghold. Now this level looks quite simple actually. It involves your base being put in the middle of the map, which is one of the first times we've actually seen that in a Corex level. It looks like a one-way path all the way around, with only one ramp down each side. However, I can't actually see the other side, so I don't know if there's a second load of ramps on that side as well. Which would be at the end of the map. So you have one at the start of the map, supposedly, I think that's a resource pool, and one at the end of the map. The enemy looks to be positioned in the middle of the map. So to maybe save your workers, you maybe have to go round the enemy base, or maybe you have there's another way round on the other side. So this map will be really interesting on discovering how to beat the enemy in different ways, because it looks like one simple path, but actually I think there's a lot more to it, because artillery will be able to fire down or fire up, and we've also got uh, you protecting your workers as they go around looking for more resources. You are quite literally defending your stronghold. The last single player map is Onslaught. This was built purely by chance, by chance, literally his name is Chance. The best thing about this level is its sheer simplicity. You have your base here with three resource pools, so you'll be like, hey I'm rolling in resource, whatever the resource actually is, but you've got three enemy bases opposite you. One path, one base, three enemies. This level is bound to be quick, because these bases will be pumping out loads of enemies which only have a few blocks to travel across till they get to your base. 
You could funnel the enemies down one side by blocking off the path on one side and on this side so that the enemies only ha can go down one route. Apart from getting resources, I think the way to defeat this level will be to build up to these enemies straight away. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the different ways that this level can be defeated. I think the fact that it's such a simple level compared to Sprawl or the wall from earlier is why it has won as well. So I hope you guys like the new levels, I can't wait to see when they come out in Corix. Click the link in the corner or the description to see the other levels that have come out, and thanks for watching.